right, we finally made it out of Bermuda. It's interesting, and we're trying to avoid that storm directly behind us. You could say we got chased out of Bermuda. Wendy says otherwise, but it sure looks like that storm's coming right at us. She's a black wall of doom. Ladies and gentlemen, so finally we were able to leave Bermuda after, you know, several hundred dollars and some minor engine repairs. Had some issues with the motor mounts, one of them twisted, one of them came kind of loose, a little bit tricky. And now we are off, headed right into a pretty big front. disaster averted we managed to get the dinghy back on board that we lost out there in that little front somebody did not do an amazing tie down job so she flew off in the middle of that front had to circle around a bit and go get her no big deal you know what is sailing without a little bit of excitement so here she goes back on board and we're still cruising and grooving we'll blame that dinghy loss on the uh, bermuda triangle All right, we got Milo's first time helming. He's on his way down to St. Martin to get his new to him, fancy dancy Geno 509. So what better to do than just throw him right into the fire? What do you think so far? It's only been about 10 seconds, Milo. What do you think? My stomach feels a lot better now. <laughs> that's, that's a plus, man. Yeah. Then we got 
Lance over here trying to take a nap. The test of our new Helmer is to not wake up this gentleman <laughs> while he's sleeping. That's all on you, my man. It's pretty calm right now. We're just kicking back. We don't have any sail up. Get a little bit of helming in. I don't know. It, I think he may have done a 360 right now because he's supposed to be at 200 degrees and he's somehow at 270. Well, you're doing circles, bro. Remember, you're heading. You're heading right here. <laughs> don't worry because the first time uh, John, I think the first time Lance, the first time Ralph, they both did 360s. So, yeah. Lance did. He's no shame in his game. Ralph did. You just did a complete 360, sir. 200 degrees. 200 degrees, sir. What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? To, for what? Just go back on course. You don't do a whole 360. 200 degrees, man. You gotta straighten out. Straighten out. You gotta straighten out. Early. There you go. You know, what? what's the point in teaching people how to helm if you can't rib them a little bit, you know? Alright, we'll touch base with you guys again when he decides to do some more evasive pirate maneuvers do we have pirates following us is that what uh oh and the dinghy uh, that's a long story we'll get to that later and here we are in the middle of the bermuda triangle trying to catch up to this little system right there so i can get some wind as we are currently in an unfortunate lull sun's starting to come out a little bit not much but uh you know what can you do so a little bit of motor sailing right now <sighs> almost dead into our whopping four knots of wind and here we are ladies and gentlemen hopefully you are enjoying the sailing vlog now don't forget everyone that you see on this delivery all the way from virginia down to saint martin is where it will end and then we're going to turn around go back to the usb eyes and then back up to puerto rico hang out in puerto rico for a couple months and then well maybe a couple months might be a month might even be less than that but then from there we're going to head south possibly down to granada and everyone that you see on these trips of mine, these are all patrons of mine that have signed up for the full consulting package. I end up inviting them to come on my deliveries with me so they can get some experience. Some of these people, um, Milo for instance, Lance, they're both people I helped buy their vessels, so I'm teaching them how to sail for the first couple of weeks once they pick up their vessel. And we might have a couple of slots available on our, let's see here, on our Puerto Rico to St. Martin leg. So if anyone's interested, just shoot me an email. I'm pretty sure they want to charge for those two legs. So it might be, I don't know, I'm guessing like 800 bucks a person come sailing for, uh, you know, a week or two weeks. If you do the two week leg, it'll be a couple thousand dollars. If you do a week, it'll probably be like a thousand dollars for the cabin. Uh, so if you're interested in doing that, let me know. Shoot me an email, chris at chasinglatitudes.com. Or if you just want to get invited on some of these trips, consider signing up for consulting. We can get you on the water sooner than later in the most cost-effective manner possible. And I will see you on the next episode.